Hello, welcome back to a City Planner Plays City Builders where we are building the city of Verde Beach. And today I wanted to do a quick episode to finish bringing the nature reserve to uh, a five star park. And I also want to fix a couple of other issues in the video uh, that you, you previously saw, episode 12. There were a couple of pretty glaring issues. So first of all, you see that there is an issue here where uh, there, there's no water at all in the park and that's pretty easy to figure out why that's happening. We take a look here, our water availability is just, it's gone at this point. So I think it would actually be a big benefit to have a water tower here at the park. I don't love all the light that that creates. So maybe near the park, uh, just to make sure that in the future we don't have this same issue at the park. I'd rather water runs out somewhere else if that's possible so now with that our water availability is back and check that out water starts flowing again and soon we will have a pond again so happy about that easy fix those are the kinds of fixes i like <laughs> next i noticed something in the cinematics there's a weird development pattern occurring here and it's pretty easy to see why I didn't zone everything here. So because of that, I'm gonna add those zoning districts and eliminate that building and hopefully get a little bit more density in this area as a result. So quick fix there, but I think it's an important one. It looked really odd in the cinematics in my, in my opinion, and uh, it was a mistake. So that is another quick fix. Uh, one of the fixes I'm gonna cover later on in the episode is with these train tracks. Uh, in the Discord server, someone pointed out that if a trade train comes from the west and it enters, there's no way for this train to leave east. So I think it's going to be a fairly simple fix, but it's going to give an opportunity to kind of fix these lumpies and bumpies around here that are pretty terrible to look at. It's, it's a really difficult thing to take care of in vanilla. Uh, obviously, in a modded version of this game, I'd use Node Controller and not have this roller coaster of madness but we have it here I will do what I can to, to make it better but first I figured out what is wrong with Hickory Park besides its name let's name it Palms National Forest that seems to be a a good name for it and and I would think that a good name for this might be Palm Forest Drive so what is wrong with this park? There's been lots of speculation. Some people thought maybe it's the fences because I didn't fence all the way around it. And that was true. But if you look, as I've gone about this, I've actually ended up fencing nearly the entire park. I'm just kind of doing a quick survey. Okay, I stopped here. And truthfully, I'm gonna probably fix this just because I like fencing, apparently. Uh, no, it's it just continuity at this point. I've done most of it, so I might as well finish. Okay, not perfect, but much, much better. So in the comments, someone suggested that my policy associated with the zoo might be what is killing the forest. So let's take a look. So we've got 353 visitors, which isn't that many more visitors than we had in the initial episode uh, where I created the reserve and over here we have 55,000 now we have some policies activated some of them don't make sense even more fun amusement parks yeah we don't need that we have main park so I think that's the big thing that is causing some issues here uh, so I'm gonna go over here and also make this a main park have an advertising campaign have a fine for fireworks and recycle garbage and I bet you that's gonna make a huge difference so that was I think the primary reason why this park was failing the other thing I was thinking about is we have very direct transit routes whoops in to this park but not necessarily into this park so what I'm thinking is this route if we take a look the primary reason it exists is to get people to tourism destinations so why not bring this into the park? And then I kind of want to switch where 
Make sure that the first stop is at the zoo, then it goes in. Same thing here. So people get picked up, actually. So they, they, they get dropped off in front of the zoo if they're going there. So that, to me, makes some sense. So I think an argument could be made that now that I have this policy... Oh, whoops. Did not bring this name around. Might have to fudge this. Actually, I need to fudge it. I'll make it a circle. Oh, and now it's okay with it. <laughs> oh, some weirdness. Hopefully it'll get fixed over time. Um, so I think that this is going to make a pretty significant impact. And you can already see it's jumping up. 400 visitors, 500. Um, so I, I, I like the direction that this is taking the park. We're going to level up very quickly. So with that, I think I'm going to give this a little bit of time and spend a little bit of time fixing these train tracks. So those are the, I mean, that over, over in the, over in this national forest, I think that that was the main issue and uh, you kind of see it resolving itself right now. So let's take a second and try to find a way to make the connections that we need to make. So what I might do is just kind of force this train traffic. Granted, I probably should use trains and not uh, not metro. <laughs> so I'll use I'll force this train traffic onto the other set of tracks, and that should provide the uh, movement that I'm looking for. Okay, so yeah, now you'd be able to come down. Maybe there was a more elegant way to do this, but I think that this will do the trick. Yeah, I don't like that location. I might... I'm gonna move that up to the straight stretch up here. Okay. So now at least we're back to where we were. That did not fix the uh, lumpies and the bumpies, but it did resolve our track switching problem. So now... If you were leaving, you could head east or west, no matter which track you were taking. So, that works. It creates a bit of a pinch point. I could get really dramatic about it. I don't know if this is right to do this. I would guess no. Uh, good enough for me. I think that that uh, is a good improvement. So let's take a look at our park. So we're back here, and we have Palms National Forest. And uh, we're getting visitors. I'm digging it. So we've leveled up, and it didn't tell me that we leveled up, which is disappointing, <laughs> but uh, I know that we got a couple of really interesting assets. So first we got the tent camping site, and uh, I want to make sure we work that in. So I'm thinking we want to keep this close to the other camping sites, and it's kind of a kind of a family group type of situation, so I like that. So I'm not going to go overly crazy with that, just have one back here. Next, we have these viewing decks. And again, I want to make sure we, we spent all this time preserving these, uh, these, these, this view. Let's make sure that we have a nice deck to view it. So with that, we're going to need to take a look at this landscaping. Okay, we have our view preserved. Maybe we even want one more a little further back. This would seem to be a good location for it. Gotta get rid of some trees. Perfect. Now we have another great view of the volcano. You can kind of see there's a row of trees that are missing here now. Um, I'm, I'm curious though, I'm, I'm thinking about it. We could start making some power connections with some of these amenities. One of the things that I've been thinking about is, is adding some amenities to this park, like an info booth. So I thought it might be kind of nice to have an info booth. So this is from the city park, but there's no reason why we can't add it here. So this is the info booth. It'll be right at this main gate and it'll be the first thing that you see. The other thing I thought might be nice would be to have a cafe. So we have this little seating area. It's pretty pretty nice. 
Why don't we take advantage of the views there as well? We'll have a little bit of uh, a little bit of normal right there. A little bit of civilization. Again, remove some of those lovely palm trees that this park gets its name from. <laughs> so, oh, water and power necessary for this building. So, we're going to have to do some work. So this is a forest, so I'm not overly concerned about cutting through to make our connection. I think that that would be completely rational. So we've got our connection there. As far as power goes, that's going to be more challenging. So I do see that we have, we almost have a connection here. So let's continue to think about things that we might be able to add. Honestly, maybe even one more observation platform. And I think that that would connect. Yeah, that connects our power. We still have a good view if we create one. So maybe not quite as nice as the other view, but still quite nice. Okay, so we are currently at two stars. I really would like to get us to three uh, and then four and five. But what I want to do is, uh, so I've looked this area just looks so much nicer with this dense landscaping. I think that there would be some sort of community group or maybe even in the future of the college that would want to see more trees added to this area. It's a community gem. It's a real amenity and it's a, it's, it's a way to educate the citizenry about the importance of nature. So oftentimes there'll be community organizations that get together with the idea of really demonstrating the the need to preserve nature by actually bringing people into it. So with that in mind, I'm going to uh, increase the diversity of landscaping within here while still preserving those view sheds and corridors that we, we love so much about this area. So I am going to leave some space here. If you recall, that's where some of the picnic benches were. So we'll leave a, a space for people to, to enjoy that. Okay, so now let's make sure that we didn't block our views. We might have blocked our views of the views. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. All right. I think we did the trick. And now let's take a look at the way the rest of the park looks. If you were exploring this park, now it feels like a forest. Well, mostly. <laughs> Be. now it feels like a forest <laughs> so it's a little better I mean there's still obviously you're still obviously in the city but it feels it feels a lot better in my mind and when you're looking at this area now from the city side it certainly feels it feels different it feels lush Okay, so now we've leveled up to level three. Now, functionally, what does that mean for us? And, you know, we're, we're quickly going to level five. So level three, we're gonna get a couple new buildings. So we get these fire pits, camp, this campsite one. So we had tent camping and campsite one, which is small cabins. So I think we'll, we'll still keep the cabins in this general vicinity but a little bit further away and then these lean-to shelters that have uh fire i think let's plan ahead we're, we're gonna get the hunting or hiking ca uh, cabins soon we'll set up some locations or where we'll, we'll put those now with these observation lookout towers these are a unique opportunity because if you look, our power... Ooh! I thought I was going to have to use these 
to actually connect power throughout the park, but we've actually just made that connection. So, no more funky power line. I like it. <laughs> so, I do still want to put some observation towers in. I think they're neat. I we'll want to keep those, again, not looking in people's windows. Still focusing them towards that view of the water. Just providing some opportunities for people. I and mean, that's, that's what it's all about. So let's see, we have plenty of entertainment. We just need visitors at this point. So with this, I think we're in a, in a very good spot. I might take a look at a couple other things in the city while we're waiting for that to level up. So I've been thinking a lot about this area and what we're gonna do with it. It's kind of a funky area. Um, what I was thinking for the time being is I kind of just want to establish a road. So let's make sure we've got our power connected because I might break it. I'm certainly going to break it. <laughs> okay, so that fixes it. So what I'm thinking is, I don't know what this area is going to be. And naturally, I think this would work well for industrial. But knowing that this is a tourism destination, that is not the way to welcome people into the city. I guess we could do more lumber sorts of of uh, uh, sorts of industrial uses, but that would be just about it. Anything else would be completely and utterly inappropriate in this place. Um, because you'd see smokestacks. And to, to make, th even to make, you know, uh, forestry work well in this area, we'd really have to be mindful uh, as to, you know, the lack of trees in this area, we're gonna get processing plants and that's not exactly what we want. Um, so for the time being, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because I'm really worried about this roadway connection. I think that we have an opportunity to do something here uh, to, to relieve some of the traffic. Not that traffic is bad, traffic is, is really good, but let's actively, ra rather than putting out fires, Let's actively make sure that our transportation network is working appropriately. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to put a roundabout here and uh, kind of distribute some of the traffic that we're seeing in this area. Okay, so we've got the beginnings of our roundabout. I'm going to taper the, uh, the earth here. That's gonna give us a really, well, I was gonna say it was gonna, it'll give us a gentle slope. I don't know that that is necessarily true as it sits. Now it's gentle. Okay. And for some reason, I just keep going. I, I'm, I'm stuck on going back to that, uh, <laughs> that walking trail. That would be a bad, bad, bad utilization of this land. <laughs> So we've got our connection there. Now I've been giving some thought as to what we do with this other end. And I think there's a really interesting opportunity over here. So I wanna take these inland water treatment plants and relocate them to our public works campus. They've been there now for a number of years. So we're going to assume it's time to replace them. And even though I just moved these, they're new. <laughs> So I know that there was some concern also about the location of this water pumping station and I share that concern. So I'm going to move that away from our public works campus. I think we're playing with fire. We're asking for trouble and uh, I don't want any trouble. I just want to keep things, keep things moving as, uh, as crisply and, and uh, cleanly as possible. So I'm looking here and I think there's an opportunity to reconfigure this roadway to cross the highway, which I think would provide a significant benefit from a traffic uh, distribution standpoint. So what I'm gonna do is bring this up just a little bit, and then pretty severely, maybe severe is not the right word, 
Uh, I want to start a bridge right across the highway. Yeah, severe is the wrong word. I, I, I don't want to do this severely. <laughs> I just, I want to make a quick turn. And all I care about with this is the angle. So a tip I got was 12 tiles is too much. So I got that in, uh, one of the commenters gave me that little bit of advice. And you know what? It worked really well for this bridge. And I'm gonna, it worked out so well, I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> Not because the idea was bad, but because my execution wasn't great. This uh, isn't going to be perfect, which absolutely destroys me. <laughs> oh, I'm making it worse. I just, I really want this to look nice because I think it's so important. That said, that might be about as nice as we get it. It's still a pretty clean connection. It's just not, not 100% perfect so over here we have uh, a three lane road which gives us the opportunity to have a turn lane that's fine um, I think I'm gonna downgrade this now we had a we had a highway going across there and that's just it's not necessary not if we're gonna have all these other connections so Oh, no, I'm actually I'm actually gonna double back on that. I Don't want all this zoning to be here, and I think that traffic's gonna go slow enough So I might make this a highway connection The unfortunate thing is it cuts off pedestrian act access there at the same time Do I really want a lot of pedestrian activity through here? M maybe not if I do, I want to control it. Um, I don't mean it in a negative way, I just mean I, I, I want it to make sense. And I want people to not... Uh, I, don't want, I don't want people to feel that they can... disrupt the movements in the, uh, in the roundabout, because it's pretty dangerous. I'm not quite sure why I struggled with that so much, and I'm not sure that it was worth the hassle, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Let's see if any of this stuff has actually helped traffic. Nope, it's made it worse. <laughs> so, perfect. So I think that the issue is that I've really made this an attractive route. So maybe I'll make it a little bit less attractive. Okay, I also didn't have any control on these junctions and it might be desirable to have some control here so hopefully that clears things up a little bit this just might be a, a, a trouble spot one of the issues is we have our roads kind of bungled over here so let's improve these oh what is this it is a furniture factory and it is not liking our location so let's do something super realistic we will move that furniture factory. Just temporarily though. We know that we need this. Back to where it's supposed to be. All is well. So now we have this kind of bypass road. In the future we'll do more with this, but for the time being, it's another opportunity to get on the interstate on the other side and maybe relieve some of the traffic over here. So rather than funneling all the traffic to one place, we're distributing it a little bit. So let's take a look at our road names. Whoops, not power line. So station road, bring that up here. Aspen Street, bring that to the other side of the roundabout. And Oak Street. Oak Street's going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> so let's see if there's a way to... That's a little better. So Station and Aspen will form the roundabout. And uh, 
bring Oak Street back up. Now, one of the, another thing that I'm thinking about as we are just kind of making a couple quick fixes. Keller House, and it does stop. So we'll bring that back down. All right, let's take a look at our park again. Where are we at? We have a four-star park making some progress. Look at our population. I think that since I started the episode, we've grown almost 10,000. And that uh, really shows that there was a problem with the water. We're almost at level five. We've got a couple things to add. So we've got uh, fishing cabins, which we have no water, so we won't be doing that. And then these hunting cabins, which if you look at the description, they say uh, it's a cabin that can accommodate a small group of hunters or hikers. So I appreciate that they um, that they specify that because reasonably there are not going to be any hunters in here. Now, it's it's funny that might sound outlandish to even have to say, but uh, I've worked on the creation of a park, uh, trying to get a, a a state park to become a city park. And one of the interesting things that was a restriction was the state had been allowing people to hunt uh, pheasant within the park. And the park was is planned to be within the middle of the city. And it's something that, uh, that we were not super excited about. And uh, we were told that that is a restriction. We cannot have the land if we're going to restrict hunting. So a city park that allows hunting. <laughs> so it, 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 it can happen. It, that's, uh, I guess, the moral of the story. So curious, how are these bus routes doing? They're busy. There's some people coming now. Things are happening here. As far as visitors go, got our observation decks. Got some people visiting these as well. Just want to make sure that we have enough entertainment to level up to the next level. More than enough. Yeah, people are visiting. People are doing things here. This is a valuable part of the community. And now it's just as important as the zoo, which is now functioning appropriately. So that's great. Let's see, anything better over here? Still a little bit of backup. And a way to fix this might be to actually extend. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to extend this on-ramp make it longer so two ways I could make the on-ramp longer I could add an extra lane Let's see if that helps it's a significantly longer on-ramp that will allow a little bit more queuing which will ultimately be a benefit here I'm gonna take down that sound wall it doesn't make sense anymore over there but I think that that's gonna help out a little bit I really don't like that this uh, is longer than the off-ramp there. It's, it's just no nest. It's no. There's no reason to extend this, and this clearly had a lot of queuing. So that's one way to uh, to, to solve it. We'll see if that fixes it. Traffic flow still good. And truthfully, we might want to do the same thing over here. We're having some backup onto the interstate. So let's have the same solution over here. Let's make it a little bit longer. So you might just might wonder why am I not just extending these as well? Well, why would we? Why would we spend the money on it? That would never happen just to make it look nicer. So this is how you end up with some weird stuff. Things that you're driving down the road and you take a look and you go, huh, wonder why that's like that. Well, this is why. <laughs> because uh, sometimes you're trying to remedy uh, something on the cheap. This was a very cheap remedy. We already had the land. All we're doing is making this a little bit longer. So good there. Did we make it? We did. Five stars. I love it. We, uh, we get one more, one more thing to add, and that's the boulder site number one. I don't know why they call it boulder site number one. There's no boulder site number two, but it's a it's a, a neat little amenity where you can rock climb. So they go tuck one away back here. There's not really a lot happening back in this area. 
other place I thought might be interesting is kind of by this entryway. So it's the first thing that you see when you walk in, you have an opportunity to stop and do a little bit of climbing. Let's slow things down. We've been, we've been in a hurry and now we can take a moment, take a beat to, uh, to breathe, take in the sights, enjoy our five-star nature reserve. Like this person right here. He's digging it. He thinks this is great. And so do I. <laughs> so uh, with that, I think we're going to end things here today. I hope that, uh, that you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, just a quick hitter. Very focused couple of issues. Uh, but I, I think that we've made a big, big, big positive impact on the city today. Including growing the population by not even doing anything. Just letting things improve. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you want to be notified whenever I release new videos, hit that notification bell. I'm going to have another cinematic. Uh, I think that's something I'm going to probably try to incorporate at the end of every video. Uh, so if you are interested in those, stick around and you'll see one shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.